And after shady geopolitical dealings with the White House, Google has now moved on to lobbying governments across Europe, and that's according to a report by U.S.-based watchdog. Artis Genich Chikan investigates. A transparency group has looked at the revolving door between tech giant Google and governments in Europe and the U.S. It found that the door has been spinning a lot in the past decade. So, Google has been actively hiring government employees and governments have been hiring Google staff. With me now is Daniel Stevens of the Campaign for Accountability group that tracked those moves. Thank you for coming, sir. Thanks for having me on. Do you see a strategy here and if yes, toward what end? I see a strategy in that Google is seeking to obtain influence from government uh, at all levels. Uh, they maximizing their power and influence uh, to sort of um, leverage their connections with regulators and officials to um, obtain the policy goals that they would like to see. Uh, the FTC agreed not to uh, file a lawsuit against Google in its antitrust battle with them. That is one thing that Google uh, gained from regulators. WikiLeaks publisher Julian Assange wrote a whole book about the close connection between the tech giant and Washington. Here's what he said just earlier this week. Google is heavily integrated with Washington power on a personal level and on a business level. Google, which has increasing control over the distribution channels, is intensely allying itself with U.S. exceptionalism. Former State Department official Jared Cohen went to work for Google and while at Google consulted with the State Department on creating an app that would track defections within the Syrian government in order to prompt more defections. That was four years ago. Three months ago, the Pentagon announced that Google's former CEO, Eric Schmidt, would head a new Pentagon advisory board aimed at bringing Silicon Valley innovation and best practices to the U.S. military. These are just a few examples of that revolving door. Google has a huge influence in all of our lives, our policies, and everything else. Um, and we should be aware of what role government regulators and authorities are playing in handing Google sort of that oversized uh, role in our, the rest of our lives. Thank you, Daniel Stevens. Thanks for having me. In Washington, I'm Ganesh Chagyan, RT. Google's privacy issues and lawsuits are well documented, but less reported, however, are the company's ties to the NSA and its connections to the CIA. Now, as recently as one month ago, leaked emails from Stratford revealed that Google is getting White House and State Department support and air cover. In reality, they are doing things the CIA cannot do. The US government can then disavow knowledge and Google is left holding the bag. Press TV reported that among the Stratford emails that WikiLeaks received were some exposing Google has not just an intelligence contractor for the CIA and Department of Defense, but foreign governments as well. Text within the highly sensitive cables outlines criminal and even terrorist activities on the part of Google, including the planning of insurgency operations. Google has helped plan military operations against Syria and has been directly involved working with Arab states and Turkey to plan destabilization of Iran. In 2010, Wired reported about the development of technology that scours tens and thousands of websites, blogs, and Twitter accounts to find the relationships between people, organizations, actions, and incidents now both present and still to come. The technology created by Recorded Future, a company that both Google and the CIA have invested in, goes beyond search by looking at the invisible links between documents that talk about the same or related entities and events. Eric Schmidt is Google's CEO. 
if you have something that you don't want anyone to know, maybe you shouldn't be doing it in the first place. I know that Warren Buffett was involved because he was part of the cult that I was involved with. He was involved with trafficking of children and killing children and having sex with children. And that's, that's why this has been basically kept under wraps. Kissinger is a famous pedophile, as is Gordon Brown and uh, the Bushes, and I could go on and on. There's millions of them. And uh, they'll have a field day uh, with children uh, once they are able to take over.